So I'm gonna make a video on Operation Christmas Child. I'm gonna show you the box that I made, how I put, what I put in it, and why. And Operation Christmas Child is an organization that sends Christmas gifts to children all over the world and primarily in places where they don't have a lot so maybe they've never gotten a gift in their entire life and they'll get this Christmas gift along with the story of Christmas. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I packed my Operation Christmas Child box this year. One of my favorite things to do is create different types of kits. I've done Art kits, hygiene kits, and school kits primarily, but there's I'm sure there's tons of other things you guys can come up with. Art supplies oftentimes will double as school supplies. You can get pens, pencils, markers, erasers, sharpeners, all of those good things. I also like to do a hygiene kit. There's several things I do in those. I make sure and get uh, a toothbrush with a holder or a holder for the toothbrush, as well as wrapping the soap in plastic. I also get a few toys that you'll see as I pack the box. I really like to use the plastic tubs just from the dollar store or any other place will work, but you don't want to go much bigger than that because when you volunteer at the packaging center, the boxes need to, a certain number needs to fit inside of a big box for shipping. Do keep watching for more tricks and tips. I'll tell you what I put in there and why and how and more about that as the video goes on. And so I have this little bag. It's just a little, like a makeup bag, it's plasticky inside. So I'm gonna put all of the hygiene stuff inside of this bag. So I've got a toothbrush, tooth, uh, toothbrush, I do have toothpaste somewhere, a little washcloths, bath pads, uh, soap, deodorant. There's the toothpaste. And so I'm gonna put, try, we'll see, put everything in here. I'm not sure if it'll work, but I'm gonna try for it. All right, so one thing that I do is I will take out the things out of the packages, and I always, always, always get a toothbrush that has a little cover for it. So maybe like you can buy toothbrushes separate, like buy three or four toothbrushes and buy three or four packs, and you could give them so they can share them with their family or however um, you want to do it. But I always make sure the toothbrush has a cover. This specific pack came with a few flossers and some floss. Also, I'm gonna take the toothpaste out of the box. You're gonna to wanna to put the soap in plastic. So I also grabbed a box of gum. All right, so I've got everything in here. You can see. And I always, always get art supplies, and which double as school supplies. So I have some washi tape, some colored tape, some bright stickers, notepad, Note cards, they're lined, I don't know if you can see the lines on them or not. There you go. A marker pack, I had sticky notes, and then bright colored pencils, but mechanical pencils. If you get a like 28 pack or whatever of regular pencils, make sure you get a pencil sharpener. And I, I got this ball, it's like a stress ball, but it has the globe on it. And I, I will probably write a letter saying like where we're from. All right, so I grabbed a couple other things. I'm gonna add a couple empty plastic bags. And I got a headband. And then a jump rope. My husband always does a, like, a boy and he gives him like math and science-y things. And so I did do a calculator. Uh, you don't wanna put any liquids in, uh, no weapons, nothing related to war or army or military or anything like that, just because if you ever get a chance to work at one of the processing centers, it's really cool. You do the best to maintain the integrity of the box, but there are little filler toys and candies that are added to them sometimes. So if your box isn't full, it may get candy added to it. It may get a few little toys, a little, uh, maybe a kazoo or a little book. But you hear stories when you're there of people who have taken the gifts to the kids and like dropped them off, like handed them to them. And you hear stories of like, there's people that are like, why are there two of everything? Like, this is so weird. Or there was one box that had one shoe in it. And the box with the, the two things, the girl who got it was so, like crying and so sad because her sister couldn't go with her and because her twin sister was sick. And so this girl got two of everything. And so like, just those types, like weird things like that. And the one shoe, I don't remember exactly how it happened, but my husband reminded me of it the other day. And I was like, oh yeah. But the one, there was a box with one shoe and like the prostitute person was like, what, like, is this okay? But then I heard the story that 
when it got delivered, the person like had, was missing one shoe or had given a shoe away or something crazy and random like that, where they needed one shoe and it was the right shoe. And she's like, ran, like, and you, these boxes are sometimes wrapped and like, you don't know what you're giving the kid. Like the kid just gets the one with the age and the gender. And so like, there's super cool things that happen. There's, it's just, it's cool. The right kids get the right box. So this girl, I'm really hoping she likes bright colors because everything I went with that as the theme, everything is bright. I, I do believe that the right kid gets it. And so I don't worry too much about putting weird things in or it not making sense because I I, I trust and I have faith that the, the kid who gets it's gonna be so happy and it's going to be just exactly what they wanted. Got a dollar, like these Tupperware things are usually what we use. You can also use an old shoe box. You don't wanna go much bigger than a normal, than the standard boxes because like I was saying, the packaging centers, you have to fit a certain number in each in each crate or else it can't be shipped. And so it's kind of difficult when people are doing their own sizes. But do make sure it's about a shoe box size. I'll need to repack it a little better because you do want it to be pretty secure. Put rubber bands on it, then they can just take the rubber bands off and put them back on. And then they'll tape it afterwards as well. If I remember, I think they're all taped. I think so. But also keep in mind that you don't have to go to the dollar store. If you wanna go to like a regular store and get something bigger, um, like you can get like one big stuffed animal and then a few little things, that's okay too. You don't have to get, you don't have to do it this way. There's absolutely no reason that you have to do it the way I do it. Right, I'm gonna show you how it's packed. I've got all the flat stuff in the bottom. There's the calculator that's sticking up, but it'll go down. I've got uh, pencils down below and a couple sticker sheets. There you go, sticker sheets. 